Hey, this is Awful DS Guru, and in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you the virtual iPod for your R4. What this basically is is a um, uh, iPod that has all the normal functions of a real iPod, to my knowledge. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go to gbatemp.net. This is a great site. I refer to it a lot. It's got a lot of great things on it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the downloads button. And we're gonna go to Homebrew. There's a lot of things on here that I'll make other tutorials of, by the way. So, yep. And then we're gonna go NDS Games and there's NDS Applications. Games are the homebrew games people have made. So they're just games people have made. Most of them aren't all that great, but some of the applications are really, really good and helpful. All right here, you'll see a whole heap of all these applications people have made. We're looking for one called Lix Media Player. So we'll go to page four. They'll probably have it on there. The alphabetical order. So not too hard to find. Right, right page. All right, there we go. Lix Media Player Next Gen Alpha Two. Okay, we'll click that. There you go. It says it's an iPod clone for DS. Here it is. That's a picture of it. All right. Download now. There we go, we'll start downloading. This is a fairly simple task. All you have to do is just drag it into your R4, just drag the folder in, and then to put songs on it, just drag the songs in the folder with it. It's not too hard to do, and it's really easy to set up. So let's let this go through. There we go. That should be on our desktop. There we go. So skins, just leave that how it is. These are the things we really do need. Um, just what you want to do. Say I've got a song in here. Um, let me give me more. There we go. Give me more dot mp3. What we'll do is we'll just drag it in here, and when we load it up, it'll work perfect. That's all you need to do, and then let's rename this to iPod. Drag this into our DS. Then we got the games folder and the iPod. All you have to do is turn on our DS and click on iPod. Click on that. Or we can rename that to iPod.nds, and there we go. Thanks for watching.